Hello. Okay, so welcome to another thrift haul video. Um, I am going to go through some things that I've thrifted recently. It's all in a big bin of stuff I've not looked through yet. <laughs> and um, I'm going to parcel it out into what I'm going to kind of list immediately, what I'm going to bring to like a buy, tr sell, trade store, um, and what I might put away until I kind of go through some of it and um, list later, you know, like maybe if it's Halloween or Christmas kind of things, sometimes I hold off a little bit, but that's only if I have plenty to list. If not, it all gets listed. Okay, so let's dig dig right in and, um, and see what I've got. I've got some fun stuff in here, I think. Um, I even have, uh, like this one is a newest tag item. This is... Um, a new tag kind of like fancy dress, which I should probably get listed right away considering it's prom season. Um, okay, so this, the brand is After Six and um, I'll show it to you. Look how cool this is. Isn't this beautiful? So this is kind of like a dusty rose kind of color. Um, so I think this is going on my list right away. Now, you know, sometimes dresses, um, I try to bundle up my dresses and kind of uh, take pictures of them all at once because I usually do like a flat lay for things. For dresses, I like to hang them. So they're kind of a pain in the neck to list. Does anybody else feel like that sometimes? I don't know. So I tend to uh, group all my like long things together um, to photograph like in my, I usually do it in my bedroom. I have like a good spot for it in my bedroom that I hang a little hook over my door and do the dresses all at once. So that's going to go in there. It is new with tags. Um, I don't know how much I will list it for. Uh, so I don't know if you have a suggestion. Go for it. On all these things, if you kind of know anything about it or more than I know and you want to um, take a little shot at making a comment out of it, I would appreciate that. Oh, this is like a... Okay, so this is like a... Uh, like a grandma shawl? I don't know what else to call it. It's like a knit um, over the shoulder kind of thing. I, you know, if I still worked in an office, I would probably just keep this and like keep it in my office because I used to get so cold all the time. So having something nice to throw over your shoulders is cool. But um, so I will probably list that. Um, now I sell things on Poshmark, Mercari. Kid is in, um, where else? Uh, Depop, eBay, kind of all over. So, uh, you know, sometimes I don't list everything on every platform. It depends on what it is and what my mood is. But, um, okay, so what's this? This, this I might not be in a super rush to sell. This is Garnet Hill is the brand. I don't know that I've ever listed anything by this brand, but it feels really nice. Um, it's a cute little sweater. It's a heart sweater. Since we're going, uh, we're in spring now, I'm not going to be in a rush to list this. But this is a size small, Garnet Hill, cute. So I'm going to put that in my, my not in a rush to list pile. Um, okay, what's this? Uh, these are a pair of jeans. And they are by the brand uh, Bow, B-E-A-U, size eight. They actually, they would probably fit me, but <laughs> we will sell those. I will list those. The jeans I find relatively easy to list. The only thing I need to do more with jeans is really take um, measurements while I list. I find it's the one thing that people really um, ask for measurements for, and I really should just do it right while I list them and take pictures of it. So maybe I'll do a bunch of jeans. I've got another pair here. These are Democracy. These are a big pair of jeans. These are big. Um, oh boy. Okay, I don't generally grab the plus size stuff, which I should because I know it sells kind of better, but they're, they're bigger to store and these are a size 24W, um, but they're, Uh, the AB technology, I don't know what that means, but their democracy, I will list these, even though, like, again, it is coming up to summer jeans, kind of sell all year, and we'll just sell those. We'll just list those quickly. Like I said, maybe I'll do a bunch of jeans all at once. 
These are um, high jeans, H-I jeans. Oh, look how cute the, oh, these are adorable. I really love these. Look at that. They're cute. And I even like the, I love that design. Oh, and they've got a good leg on them. Hmm, what size are these? These are six. These actually would fit me. Um, hmm. I might have to try those on. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, those might, those might end up being mine. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to put those in a pile to wash and try on. Um, cute, cute, cute. Oh, these also are, oh, these are Juicy Couture. Love a little Juicy Couture. Nice little sweatpant. Um, these are, I kind of love this kind of stuff too, but these are, um, I don't know what size they are. I'll have to look better. Um, but these are cute. These I might actually, these might end up just going to uh, buy, sell, trade. Cause I know, um, I know that uh, Plato's Closet will love these. So I might do that. They, these might go to Plato's Closet. We're gonna put those in a pile for Plato's. I like getting rid of a few things right away, like to Plato's so that, um, I make some of my money back like immediately and don't have to store it all. Okay, what's this? This is like a little black dress. This is New York and Company, size small. Um, I'm gonna bring that to Play-Dohs. I have a feeling they won't take it, but they might. If not, we will sell that. But that, we're gonna try to go to Play-Dohs first. Um, this is a cute little red belt. This is Nine West. Okay, so we'll do Play-Dohs for that first. Um, okay. What's this? Oh, Superman. I always try to grab a few things that are like fun, um, you know, pop culture-y kinds of things. This is like one of those jerseys, Superman. It's got a uh, number one on the back. Um, this actually, I might try Play-Dohs first too, because they sometimes like that kind of stuff too. Okay, uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, I got two of these, which I thought um, at first were just cute rugs. I got this and I have another one that's just like it. But then um, I did a little, when I got home, I did a little um, Google Lens. Sorry, I'm like going out of screen. <laughs> uh, and uh, I learned that it's like a prayer mat, like a prayer rug, like a Muslim prayer rug, Turkish. I don't know if you know more about that. I know there, I know there are some of you that know more about that. Please comment below. Um, but I am gonna sell these because I do think that they will, um, they'll sell. Uh, that won't be something that like Play-Dohs or something would take, but they will sell. Uh, okay, so what else do I have here? I have some uh, men's shirts here. Here is like just a men's shirt. I will just probably list this. It's a 16 and a half, 32, 33. Just a, you know, we'll list that. Oh, oh, we'll put that in the to list right now. Here is another Urban Pipeline kind of men's t-shirt. I will just list that as well. Um, okay, what else do we have here? So as I go through, I figured I'd, um, as I go through this actually, maybe we can have a little chat about um, what's going on on Mercari. Uh, has anybody seen the, um, I don't know what this is, so Glass Strand. So Macari has taken away the, um, the buyers, I mean the seller fees. Has anybody seen this? So it's, they've taken away the seller fees and put all of the fees on the buyer, which I am fine with. That's fine. And, and if you use your balance, there's no fee. 
So for either the buyer or the seller, I think there's maybe a processing fee, but the service fee or something, there's no service fee if you are using your balance, um, which is kind of like a win win for everybody. Um, but they put it. So this is what I think is going to happen. Um, I think that at first it's going to tank sales. I, I've already seen it happen. I haven't really made a sale on Merc Macari since the switchover, but I also think people adapt and they get used to whatever it is and um, they will come back and people will start buying again when they figure out how it's working uh, and things like that. This, now I have one, one main problem with this change, okay? And I'm gonna show you, I'll show you this thing right before I tell you what the main problem I have with this change is. Um, but I got a cute little grandma sweater here. Uh, this is uh, Besser Bay. And it is a size large. It's kind of like a nice warm kind of sweater. And I'm going to list that. Um, so here's the problem I have with the Mercari uh, switchover. They are not telling us what, what, the, what the service fee is. Okay. And the service fee, I, by that I mean the there's like a processing fee, which is 2.9% and 50 cents plus 50 cents for each transaction. That's fine. But the service fee, they've not said what the service fee is. And people have been finding that depending on the um, item or who's buying it, the service fee varies, which I don't think is right. I think they need to be much more upfront about what they're charging. Uh, somebody even wrote to them, so, okay, here's, oh, here's an, see, I'm cutting in with, uh, this is a new with tag item. Um, it's a cute, this very, like, um, winter Christmassy type shirt. So I am going to hold off on listing this or wait until I don't have anything else to list. Uh, Emmeline Petite is the name of the brand, but this would be a great Christmas, New Year's type sweater. It's really sparkly too. Can you see that? All right. So we're going to put that in the don't worry about listing right now pile. Okay. So back to Macari, but um, so Macari, uh, somebody wrote to them and said, hey, I've noticed that, you know, I looked at this item and somebody else looked at this item and it's different fees depending on like who's looking at it. And it's different fees depending, because three different items, they're all $200 exactly, but the service fee changes, um, you know, depending on the item. And, and they wrote back and they said something like, you know, um, it might change depending on the condition of the item and the brand, and which I think can be sketchy. I think they are not being forthcoming enough to uh, with us. So that's going to change, or else, or that needs to change, or else I, I foresee a lawsuit in the future. Okay, this looks. Um, I don't know if this is vintage. This is this is the from the thrift store that I bought it from. But there's like a vintage uh, Echo Bay. This is kind of like a, this is another one that I think is more winter, so I'm going to hold off on, but it's kind of got a cool, um, a cool look to it. So we'll, we'll hold off on that, but we'll sell, I will sell that one. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think about the Mercari changes? Have you seen it? Has it affected you? I don't know. Like I said, I haven't really made a sale since on that platform since the change, which happened like a few days ago, a couple days ago at least. Um, luckily, I'd had made a couple of sales before that that were still in process that have now gone through. But I don't know. We'll see. It's going to, you know, people will figure it out. Uh, I'm of the opinion that they will figure it out. But again, the varying fees are sketchy. Uh, okay, so this is Flying Monkey. Does anybody know that brand, Flying Monkey? I, I don't know it. It's a pair of jeans. Um, I am going to try these at Plato's first because I don't know the brand. I will look it up, though, because that's an interesting – I've never heard of that brand. Um, okay. Oh, look at these. Here's a pair of shorts. These I'm actually going to let – these are like like a boy's or men's dress short. Uh, the brand is called Micros. They're, oh, they're like a boy's 18. We're going to let my son try these on. He needs shorts like this, and um, all right, that's going to go into the possibly stay with us. Does anybody else do that? They go thrifting and get stuff, and some of the things they buy, it might be um, 
that might end up staying home. Uh, and that's one of them. Okay, we're gonna let him try that on. Oh, this is cute. Here is a t-shirt. This is really one of those soft shirts. This is, oh, Buffalo, uh, David, um, oh, I've sold things in this brand before. Uh, David Baton, Bitten, I don't know. How do you say that? I don't know. Um, I think, I think this is a men's brand. Um, so, but this is really soft. This is nice. Uh, we might go, we're going to do Play-Dohs on that one though, because I think Play-Dohs will like that. And I, like I said, I think that's a good brand. Um, okay. Let's see. Here's more jeans. What are these? A loves A. A loves A. Has anybody heard of that one? Uh, size 26. It's kind of a skinny size. These probably would fit my daughter. Oh, they're kind of like an interesting raw hem look at the bottom, which is fun. Um, we are going to, I think I'm going to try those at Play-Dohs first. A lot of these I'm just going to bring to Play-Dohs because I got them, I got them for cheaper than Play-Dohs will buy them for if they, if they buy them. So kind of that's how I'm able to do this. Um, and kind of get rid of some of it, make a little bit of profit. Not as much as I would make, though. Nowhere near as much as I would make. Oh, here's, uh, a, this one might actually end up being my son's, too. There's a Kirkland jacket. It feels kind of weatherproof. Um, size medium. If it was a little bigger, I would give it to my husband, because he would definitely wear it. Oh, and it's got like the inside. I love like sometimes I love buying clothing type items at Costco. They 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 have some fun stuff. Like they, it's not great for resale. Um, although sometimes, uh, so this this might be a. Let's see if my son wants it. Sometimes I have actually bought, there were these pajamas that I bought at Costco like a while back and they ended up being my favorite pajamas. But they don't always have them then at Costco. They have them for like a month and then you don't see them again for like a year or ever again. And um, I've ended up looking then on um, Poshmark and other sites for uh, for additional uh, additional pairs of that same pajama and I found them. I found them even new kind of new in package and, but in general, I don't buy stuff there to resell because, you know, it's not a great return on your investment. Okay, but here is a cute holiday item. You know, now, anytime I get holiday items like this, even if they're not um, sweaters, I usually use the tag ugly Christmas sweater um, because people search for that for like the parties and things like that, but this is a fun Christmas item and that's a good tag to use if you have any kind of Christmas themed shirt. Even if it's not ugly, even if it's not a sweater, put it in there somewhere, like ugly, ugly Christmas sweater, because that helps it um, get seen uh, by the people who might wanna buy it. Um, okay, here's another uh, pair of plus size, oh, maybe they're not even plus size, 38 by 32, I guess they're not really plus size. Uh, or is 30, I don't know, what is, is 38? Probably not, right? Um, the Nordica, though, I will sell these. I'm gonna list these myself. Um, Nordica, 38 by 32. Nice, solid pair of jeans. So those will get listed. Again, I'm just gonna have to do all the jeans at one time, I think, and um, grab my measuring tape and, and do the inseam and waist or something at least. Here is a cute sweater. Here's a, a knit piece. This is gonna go into my to be listed in a month or two whenever I run out of inventory to list kind of pile. Um, I have so much in the way of like things that I need to list more quickly, that's why. Uh, Otherwise, I just tell people if you if you if you have it listed, you know, don't don't wait just to wait. But uh, Tahari, one X, cute little soft, bouncy kind of shirt that is going to be easy to list. I'll just list that quickly. 
um, myself. I don't really have a good place to take bigger size clothes, like a buy sell trade. Like the Play-Dohs, like, they like the skinny little girl kind of sizes. Um, I don't have like a great place. Now, what is this? This is cute. A great place to just bring stuff that's kind of bigger real women sizes. Oh, this is a 2X. This is cute. This is like a, a wrap dress. Look at this. It's, it's like all tied up right now, but I think if I, once I untie this and get it situated, this is like a really cute dress. This is the brand um, Joy Day. I don't know how to, I don't know what that brand is. I, this is the brand. I'll have to figure out what that brand is, but this is cute. That's so now I'll, I'll list that when I take pictures of the dresses all together. I'll just do that then. Okay. Um, what's this? Oh, this is cute. All right. Oh, I've got stuff. <laughs> Sometimes I get a bag and then I fill it with stuff. This is cute. I have to clean this off a little with a... But this is a cute little... Is this Victoria's Secret pink? This says, uh, the pinks love rock and roll. Is this, um, yes, this is a Victoria's Secret pink. Cute little bag. So I will list that. That'll, that'll sell pretty easily too, I think. Okay. Um, Route 66. Oh, here's another new with tag item. There's new tag, pair of shorts. These are going to be listed right away. Route 66 shorts, size 14. These are like a women's 14. Regular mid. Oh, and it's even got. See, you gotta love when it's new, new with tag, and it tells you like the mid seam and the, the I mean the mid rise, four inch inseam. That's great. It even has the original price on it, so I'll just sell it for less than that. Easy to price. There you go. It's listing itself. Okay. What else do we have here? Ooh, oh, these are Chico's. These are cute little like capri pants, cropped pants. Um, they're Chico size two, which if you know Chico's, that's, oh, oh it's new with tags, yay. I love, I love when I grab things for new with tags. Love, love, love. Oh, wow, and these were originally $72, man. Um, so I think a size two is like a large, extra large. I don't know, you Chico's people, I, I, I will look it up before I list it so I can properly, you know, size it on the different platforms, but it's, all right, that was a good pickup. Chico's does seem to sell pretty well too, especially a new, new tag piece, so. That I will list and sell. Okay. Um, a white stag. Here's white stag pair of shorts. Oh, is this? Oh, is this a skirt? Oh, this is this is like a. Okay, so this is a skirt, but it's got the built-in shorts underneath. So um, white stag size fourteen. I will list those, but I will. Gosh, I do hate ironing things, but I might actually <laughs> iron that before I list it. I'm not one to iron things before I list, but it's new with tag, so I can't. Generally, I'll throw things like in the dryer or I'll wash and dry them if they are that wrinkly just to get them fresh again, but it's new with tag, so I can't. Oh, is this one? Is this new with tags? Oh, no, this one's not. This one will end up either in the dryer or washed and dried. Because who am I kidding? I'm not gonna. I'm not going to. If my mom was watching, she'd be like, "Who are you kidding? You're not gonna iron. You don't even iron your own clothes," which is very true. So that <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Oh, here's a black robe. Robes are fun to sell because okay. So I don't know. This is a lady's small. This is a nice black robe. I could even wash and keep this because I don't hate it. Hmm, because it's a nice, long, soft robe. Hmm, that might, that might end up being mine and I'll get rid of one of my other robes. I have one big bulky robe that like, I'm not loving that I might just get rid of that. I'm not gonna sell that though. I'm just gonna give that away. Um, 
I've had it for a while. It's served its purpose. Maybe I'll replace it with that. If not, I'll sell that. So what I was going to say was robes are good to sell, especially uh, things like that, because sometimes they they don't have them after Christmas time. They, you, people, if you're shopping for a robe and it's not Christmas time, good luck. It's tough to find. They're tough to find robes. Um, and sometimes it's tough to find robes that are not like Christmassy. Like you want sometimes just a, a nice robe and uh, it's tough to find. Okay, so this is cut from the cloth. Uh, boyfriend jean, size four. I will list these. How much do the cut from the cloth sell for? Here's the, I feel like that they sell pretty well. I'll have to look that up um, and see what the comps are for, for a pair of cut from the cloth jeans. Okay. Um, again, feel free if you, if you know more than I do, which I'm sure some of you know way more than I do, feel free to let us all know. Okay, here's a pair of, um, are these? Oh, these are maternity, aren't they? Are they? These might be maternity. Hofish? I don't know if they are or not. They look like they are, though, right? I might actually bring these to um, one of the kids' resale stores because they love maternity stuff. So I, I might bring those there first. Um, okay. A couple of them that I sell to uh, take maternity stuff. Terra and Sky, pair of jeans, 3X. I will just list those. Um, I just have to get. I just have to get these listed. I have like a huge death pile that I'll have to get listed. Okay. Uh, okay. So here's a pair of cute little lace undies that are new with tags. I only sell underwear if they're new with tags. Uh, most sites, that's all you can sell anyway. They won't let you sell them if they're not new with tags for for reasons. There are some sites that I think are dedicated to that, but that's not for me. So that's I only sell the new with tags stuff. Okay, here is a cute pair of White Mountain um, little shoes. These will get listed right away. These are this would be cute for summer. And they've got a nice chunky heel. What size are these? I'll figure out the size. Hmm. Oh, here they are. They're size nine. So that's a, that's a good size to sell. That's a nice average kind of size to sell. Okay. Um, here is a fun little uh, summer dress. This is Jones, New York, size large. Cute little fun summer beach cover up dress that has to go up fast. We gotta, that's a let's list that today kind of thing. Um, okay, here is what else do we have? Here are a pair of um, cute little red shoes, these are a six, uh, and those will get listed quickly too. Cute little sandals. They're easy to take. Shoes are easy to photograph. So, um, and shoes generally have a decent, you know, value in general. So, so that's always good. Now, bras, I will sell used. Um, underwear, no. Bras, yes. Here is a Hanes bra. Um, and look, I don't only, you know, these are Hanes. Hanes is, you know whatever brand. Um, I don't only, well, I, this one I'm actually probably not going to sell. It's coming, it's coming apart a little bit. So this one, what size is this? 36B. Yeah, this might, this might go to donation. You know, it, I could sell it even with this. Oh, is it? But I won't. I, I don't even want to have to donate. Donate, donate. That is fine. I like having a few things in my haul that just go to the donation. Um, because why not, right? Why not? Oh, these are cute. Here's a little pair of slippers. They are a size six, seven. Kenzie is the brand. Again, e really easy to list. And you know, some of this stuff, 
I'm not gonna make a ton on. I, I don't know if there's anything in this haul yet that I'm super excited about listing. Um, Money-wise, I haven't found anything that I'm like, oh, this is worth a lot, but, um, hmm. This is just a long sleeve kind of base layer, tech gear on the go. This might end up going to one of us in this family because I don't know that it's worth listing that, but it will fit many of us, so. Um, all right, let's see what else we've got. Oh, here is a cute, oh, this is a nice bra. Oh, this is made in form. This is a, um, a zip front bra. Let's see, let's make sure it works. Okay, let me show it to you. Let's show it to you. Here is the bra. I actually just sold uh, a bra almost identical to this. It was, might have been Victoria's Secret though. Um, but it was a zip front bra like this that just sold. I'll have to look how much it sold for and kind of what it was. But, uh, oh, it's kind of cool. And it's got the little thing in the back there. This is a good, like, sports bra. Um, so I will list that. I like listing bras and sports bras and things like that because they don't take up a ton of room to store, which I've been a little conscientious of lately. Um, because, you know, the house kind of fills up quickly <laughs> with all of this stuff. So uh, I'm trying to maybe sell more things that are kind of smaller and easier to store. Well, here's a cute little, I'm a sucker for a cardigan, as you can see. So um, I tend to pick them up, uh, a cute little cardigan sweater. This is, and I tend to pick them up like in my size. <laughs> maybe I always think maybe I'll keep it. All right, this is size small. AMI is the brand, Ami, I don't know. Um, but cute little cardigan, I will list that because I have too many cardigans. So I pick them up and I tell myself, you must list that. If one of my cardigans rips, I'll always know I have some extras. Oh, here is, this is a kid item, Star Wars though, cute little baby Yoda. Um, I might, uh, I might actually bring this to just a uh, kids buy, sell, trade. Uh, I'm not even bothered with it, but maybe, we'll see. Okay. Oh, here's a cute little, is this like a wrap dress? This is Zessica? Zessica. I don't know that brand. Size small, but this is cute. This is like a maxi, like wrap dress. Um, size small. Maybe I should try it on. Oh, here's the tie. Hmm. Yeah, I might, I might have to try that on first, and then I will, I will list it. Oh, maybe I should just not even try it on and just list it, just list it, just list it. Sometimes you have to tell yourself that even when something's cute, you just have to list it. Okay, uh, here is this. What size is this? This is a size large. This is cute. I actually picked this one up for my husband, but we're discovering he's really an extra large now. <laughs> He was he was medium when we when we started dating and then he moved to large and I'm thinking in many of these shirts large is just not is not working for me anymore. But I loved I love the shirt. It's such a great you know it's such a great shirt. But he's really so this is I'm gonna list this quickly. Um, he's really an extra large now. So you know oh well it would have looked cute on him. But I have to start looking for extra larges. This is Life Stride. These are cute, just cute little like work shoes. Um, oh yeah, I'm getting a call, but I don't want to answer it. So I'm going to list these kind of quickly too. Uh, these are nice and like, I don't know if these are, are these leather? I feel like they, nope, they're, they're all man-made materials. Size so seven and a half medium. Good little shoe though. They look like a comfortable work shoe. Uh, these again will be listed right away. These are a like a flip flop kind of slide. I don't know. Use all the keywords that you can. Size medium. Oka, uh, Okabashi. Okabashi is the brand. Um, so I'm gonna list those quickly. And all right, let's do one more, one more item. Uh, this is a new day. Size medium. This is just kind of a basic 
long sleeve tee, but really soft, really soft. This might, this might just be one that I end up. I don't love the crew neck though. I, I will try to list that. If it doesn't sell, I could always keep it later, but that would fit me and it's soft and it would be even f good for like going to sleep in in the winter, but, 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 but. Okay, and I have a couple more things that I think are going right to the uh, buy, sell, trade stores. Cute little count and match game and a pair of tights. So those are just gonna go right to uh, buy, sell, trade. But that's my haul for the day. That So you got my haul and you got my thoughts on uh, the Mercari change, which again, I think people will get used to. I think there's gonna be some growing pains with it though. And I think in the short term, I don't think it's gonna be great. Uh, in the long term, it could be good for sellers um, because there's no fees for sellers except a $2 fee to cash out. So, you know, again, I we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm interested in uh, three months from now to see how that evolves and what happens with that. So maybe I'll do a follow-up uh, discussion on that in, an, in another haul video, but um, if you are still here, if you could like and subscribe, maybe make a comment or any of the above, uh, that would be really appreciated. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, have a good day. If I can figure out how to shut this off.